Hey guys, how's it going? It is the real Randy Chavez. I'm coming at you with a Pokemon sales data video. We finally made it. All right, sorry, I just did two other videos that are not Pokemon sales data, but this one is. All right, so we're going to start it off with uh, mine. Uh, so I had a Misty's Gyarados first edition PSA 10. The last one I sold for $7.50. This one sold for $8.50. Yes! Uh, I'm going to upload another one tonight. That will be for $9.50 or best offer, and I'll see where it goes. Uh, I do have to hold uh, another one for this one guy, the one that I told you... Um, bought a two Giovanni's Gyarados and one Misty's Gyarados already. Like, dude's insane. Dude's a crit. Dude's a mad lad. If you're watching, a eh, a. Eh? Uh, so past that, I sold a Misty Seal first edition PSA ten for fifty four dollars. Oh, by the way, this is Misty's Gyarados first edition PSA ten. If I didn't go over it again, that Misty Seal first edition PSA ten. Um, I've had it on for sixty or best offer. He offered forty two, and I was like, listen, guy. The rates were just raised at the post office. I cannot let this go for 54. I didn't say that. I just put like 54 counter offer. And he's like, accept, paid, yes, zing. Okay, and then another one I got. I should have just waited for this one, but I didn't. Um, there's this guy who uh, I, I had a, t here comes Team Rocket. So it's the Team Rocket, um, Jesse James and Meowth. Very little hollow on it, but it's first edition PSA 10. Uh, at 275 for best offer. I saw one at 175 starting bid, and it's like, uh, if he gets no offers on it, this guy might retract his bid. So I just sold it 175. There you go. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so that's what I got on that. Moving on past that to the other sales data videos that is not my own, we have a Blaine's Charizard first edition PSA or first edition, but it was raw. Now this looked mostly good. Little bit of you know spotting on the back, like. Not like it wasn't crazy whitening or crazy, crazy edge wear. It was just like, I had like little spots on it. I don't know exactly what to call it. Um, I didn't really see any scratching on the hollow or, or on the front. Uh, again, a little bit of edge wear, a tiny bit of um, whitening, just not a lot. Um, but it did have like a little scratch slash crease, crease on like not the front, but the top back part. And that PSA is so freaking harsh with those grades. Or, or with yeah with grading things with like that so I was and you couldn't see it through the front at least I couldn't maybe at like a certain angle you can but from the pictures that I showed I couldn't see it um so I would have probably given this like a six or, or a seven M definitely a six uh I, I, okay between six and a seven because without that it could have possibly greater nine most likely an eight but uh, again possibly a nine um so but it sold for 620 uh so congrats huzzah uh, moving on past that, we had a Gengar first edition PSA 9s for $270. Now the Haunter first edition PSA 9, I could have sworn these sold for like $230, but this one sold for $165. Um, yeah, buyer had 100% feedback, had like seven pictures of it. Now the there was on the pictures, it looks like there was some dust or something on the case. It didn't look like it was on the card. It looked like it was on the case. But someone might have looked like, eh, I can't tell, I'm not going to buy it. Anyway, it's all for $165. Uh, I think whoever got that is a great deal, because most likely it's it's a really good card. And I look at the rest of it, it looks very mint. Um, Shadowless Charizard, PSA 5. Top 5 bids on it were 570 620 733 800 and 806 uh, was the winning bid. That's what that got on that. Um, it's hard to dictate where Shadowless is going, because there's another Shadowless auction for... Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, all PSA 9, and that's got like six grand on it already. Right. I don't know what Shadowless 9, Charmander, and Charmeleon's got. It's probably not that much, to, to be completely honest. There's probably a good amount of those, but it's already up to $6,200. So I, why is my Shadowless BGS 9 not getting? I guess it just goes to show that PSA, at, when it comes to like the big stuff like Charizard, it, is always going to be preferred. Again, that's just what I'm noticing in my little circle, my little bubble. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay, Dark Dark Charizard, first edition PSA not. Oh, I'm sorry, first edition PSA ten. It was a non-hollow. So in the Rocket set, you have your hollows, which are all rares, and then you have your non-hollow rares, which is the same artwork as the hollows. They're just non-hollow. So this Dark Charizard, first edition PSA ten, non-hollow, uh, sold for eight fifty four. Record price point for that card, I think. Then we had a um, Houndoom, Houndour, Ho Oh, first edition PSA nine. Top bid was six eighty. Reserve was not met. Relisted. Shining Gyarados first edition PSA nine. Top bid was nine fifteen. Reserve was not met. Relisted. 
Rockets, uh, blah, blah, blah. rocket sneak attack. No, I don't know what this one was. I apologize. Uh, we had a Charizard. It was unlimited, uh, unlimited Charizard, but it was a BGS nine. Now this unlimited Charizard BGS nine had nine for the corners and nine for the edges, which is good. And 9.5 for the centering was also really good, but its surface was an 8.5 only. But it still got 935. Had that surface been a 9, this might have gotten $1,000. So even an unlimited Charizard BGS 9, or yeah, if that was a PSA 9, probably would have gotten $1,000. Uh, so that's all I have for today. Sorry, it's not too long a video. There just wasn't that much sales that to go over. Again, I had some personal ones myself, which I am pretty proud of. Again, I will list, um, I'll link the, e again, everything that I'm posting on eBay right now is is either the cheapest on eBay or is the only one on eBay. I'm as sure of that because I need to get this out as soon as possible. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope you all are doing a great thing out there. I myself am trying to do a good thing. I'm going to re-upload uh, re some stuff tonight. I uh, love you all on eBay down below. Uh, Patreon too, if you want. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe. That is the most important. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Let's grow the party. Let's grow the market of Pokemon and Avatar. I love you all. Bye.